Okay. Well, I figured I'd show you guys my new rat breeding rack now. Um, it's not completely finished, as you can see. There's no tubs on the bottom two, but uh, I got the top two in, so you can kind of see. Um, it's the basic same design. I'll kind of show you up here. It's the basic same design that you see with pretty much every rat rack um, that's like this style. Here's my um, here's my mouse rack that I got a video of last time, and you can kind of see that. Well, this is basically the same design. I'll see if I can kind of get back a little bit further, so you can kind of get the idea of it. Well, there's there's the rat rack right in front of it, and here's the mouse rack next to it, so you can kind of get and see the idea. These ones are um, uh, concrete mixing tubs. I think uh, everybody that kind of does this same style and design uses those. Simple construction. I use two by threes because they're lighter weight than two by fours and they hold up a little bit better than two by twos and I'm using you can kind of see it here I'm using half inch mesh half inch mesh works perfectly fine for rats because you don't ever have to worry about the babies getting out kind of see these guys in here these are still smaller ones So I have these guys in here. But like I said, half inch works perfectly fine with rats. The half inch is a little weird with uh, mice because the mice like to jump around and get out sometimes. Babies. So here's my mice. Some of them, should I say. But anyway, let's get back to the rat rack. Um, simple design. Food goes up here. Of course, the rats eat it through the mesh. Water bottle. Um, I don't have a gravity-fed water system yet, so I'm using water bottles even for these, for my um, mouse rack. But uh, probably in the next month or so, I'll have a gravity-fed system that'll tie both racks together. So I won't have to worry about it. Because right now, every day, I still have to come in here and fill up the water bottles. So I want to, you know, try to deal, you know, get away from coming in here every day filling up the water bottles. You know, this way it frees up some time, you know, to do some more work in the reptile house. And uh, some of my other uh, projects that I've been doing. But these, I'll probably finish this up uh, probably tomorrow or the next day or something like that. And this one down here ran out of wood when I was making it. So this one doesn't have the thing on it. Um, the cross beam for the food. So I have to get that. So once that's bought, put that in there real quick. Everything will be finished. Thanks for watching.